Whew. Oh, I forgot I had mascara on. Oh goodness, but good morning, everyone. Good morning, it is the next day. So your girl is like a little tired. Dang, my battery, shoot. Come on, battery. So I had a day yesterday. So after I um, left my mom's yesterday, I left it later than what I wanted to. Well, first, let me say this. Hey guys, it's your girl Dom. I'm hoping you're having, you know, a great splendid day thus far. Um, just hope it's a great day. And so yeah, so I got back from my mom later than what I intended to, and I didn't want to, but I was super exhausted. Like when I say super exhausted, I just feel like I've been driving like all over the place this whole weekend and I was just just really, really tired. And I'm, I'm waiting to get rest. One thing I can say when it comes down to having a business is there's no such thing as rest, especially in the beginning stages of everything. It's tiring and then a lot of projects Sorry for all the noise, but a lot of projects that I'm working on are start from the bottom projects. Meaning, there's no blueprint, there's no, no steps, there's no strategy, there's no foundation. I am literally building everything from the foundation up. So, in doing so, it's very exhausting and very tiring, and I know I have to hurry up because I have to it is hair day today, so I know I have to hurry up. What time is it? Luckily, it's not far from me. All right, so like at 8.45, I gotta get out of here. So it's 8.36, so I got time. I can do so much in that time. <laughs> but um, everything from the ground up, it takes work. It takes dedication. It's you're figuring everything out. You're being your own photographer, videographer. You're being your own content creator. You're being your own editor. And you're just doing everything on your own, and it's really exhausting i will i won't hold you it's exhausting just hold on me for real quick i know someone asked me with all i know but then having a business with all the information i know now about running a business would i continue a nine to five or would i continue with my business so the answer i want to say is i will find the perfect nine to five and work there because you got the handbook, the blueprint, everything, everything is already laid out for you. You just coming in and filling that position that's needed. That's that. But my honest answer, my truthfully honest answer, it ain't nothing like having your own business. It's nothing like working for yourself. Nothing like it. Because those same nine to five companies that you worked for are the same ones who had to figure out the same exact thing that you're trying to figure out. How in the world do I work this company and allow for this to be my generational wealth? So, it can be done. Nevertheless, it can be done. So today, other than that, <laughs> today is hair day. And I took two days out of this week to say I'm dedicating it to my hair because last time it was two days. So this time I'm saying two days as well. So we are getting some braids, but I don't have the time to do my own partings anymore. I don't have the time, nor the energy, nor the mirror setting, <laughs> like, no. So I'm gonna go to my girl Dom, her name is Dominique too. So I'm gonna go to my girl Dom, I went to her last time, she parted my hair, I loved it, it was amazing. The last time I did my long, long braids, she did the parting for it. I loved everything about those braids. So I've been waiting for months. I think the last time I took my braids out was February this year, I believe. So now I'm just like, I was gonna get some more braids like last month, cause that's when I started to get a braid fiending of wanting it. So I said, no, we're gonna wait till June. My birthday's coming up. I want braids for my birthday. That's just that. So. It works out perfectly because I'm just working on being more consistent with my scheduling. I'm being more consistent with me and the things that I have planned for myself and my business. So that's just going to fall in line with me going back to the gym all over again. 
because I took off. I would say I took off for valid reasons. Not valid reasons, but valid reasons because of the business. And I could not focus with doing so much all that one time in my day. I feel like I was never getting anything done. So I was overworking myself. But now that I have more time on my hands, it's more so like, I right, cool. I still have a lot going on where putting work out in a process of it is going to be a lot in me trying to figure out my day but it's cool because one is right up the street two i'm making my own schedule this time before i had to go to schedule with my trainer because he had other clients you know so trying to work that schedule out so it was different but now i have my own schedule so it should be a little bit better it's just being more disciplined because now i'm accountable for me you know when you had a trainer it's like okay cool yeah, what I gotta do? Okay, cool, I just show up and you tell me what I gotta do and I do it and I go home. But now it's like, I have to show up for myself 10 times more and fill up, come up with a workout and have the energy to push myself and continue to go about my day. So to all those who work out without a trainer, I give it to you. You are the real MVP, that's what I'm saying. So I have two minutes to area <laughs> and it's raining right now. And I don't really care to drive in the rain, but I got all four new tires, so we straight. I'm gonna hurry up and finish eating this. The parents are already fed her. She didn't want to eat. She's I guess it's her mood swings. I don't know. So and then later on, I'm gonna do my hair like really, really early in the morning, like one something in the morning. Let me hurry up and eat, and then I'll meet you in the car. All right, so I just got here. I started taking out some of my braids just a little bit under the hat. <laughs> so she. Like, come on, seriously, what was all that about? For what? You are, you're going nowhere. So she's on her way. I got here a little bit earlier. So she's she's not, you know, she's not late. I just got here earlier than she did. Um, so we'll start to get the process going. I can't wait. I'm excited to get my hair done, put my hair in some braids. And yeah, so I'm gonna just keep taking some of it out. Hey, bro. How you Good, ain't you? I started to take. I like this outfit. Thank you. All Girl, right. I, was I was trying to find my sweatpants, but they was in the dryer getting dried. I said, "Oh shoot." Girl, I'm trying to make a vibe for myself, but I put some damn clothes on. Like, <laughs> <laughs> no. Come on, just it out. Oh, what? <laughs> She's like, "What am I doing?" with part in my hair it didn't take long as I thought it would but I want to hurry up and go home and finish cleaning up and getting my hair placement started starting to take my hair and laying it out I'm trying to get my birthday plans together as well and that part is a lot so they want my mom to come out with me because my mom be turning up with us so it'll be fun so I'm about to head home and then I'll see you guys when I get home
Ooh, yeah. Girl, I am like tired, okay? Hold on. My feet hurt, but we have like just this section left. I low key want to stop and take a nap, but I am one of those who do not like to stop when I'm in the process of doing my hair because I just like to keep going. I don't, I really don't want to stop. So it is what, like 10? What time is it? It's, oh my gosh, it's 11.15 p.m. And I've been doing this since 8 a.m. Okay, 8 a.m. And the only break I took was probably like two breaks. One was 30 minutes. The other one was just for me to like go downstairs, make some oatmeal really quickly and then come back upstairs. I'm just in this phase right here, just just tired. We, we gonna get through this, okay? We are gonna get through this. What I'm using as for my roots, I'm using this right here. This is the Shea Moisture Edge Gel. When I go in with less jam, I'm not crazy about using less jam on my roots because it's just more greasy than it actually sticking the hair together. For less jam, I will put this on my hair right here where it's like really, really thick and I'll use it to manage my hair to just like thin out a little bit so that it's easier for me to blend in with the extension here. But the only thing with that, with Les Jam, this is how my fingers look. Yeah, my fingers are like blue. But normally I like to go in with Shine and Gem. That's like my favorite one to use while I'm using my braids. So, and the crazy thing is I use one entire pack, which is three bundles inside of those packs. Let me show you. I don't know if I showed it before i think i did but i'm gonna show it again so it is three bundles inside of this pack and this is the 72 inch and these three bundles i'm not gonna hold you those three bundles took care of all of this and half probably like i'm lying i ain't do all of that probably like this much those three bundles did all of this right here three bundles and all i'm doing is using three clusters of hair the black hair in each braid because i don't need anything more than the three clusters and then i'll go in adding some of the hair that i'm doing like an ombre with and i go in really small with those like really really small to build the ombre up but i'll show you how to do that like on my last braid i just wanted to get through it first and then i could really like explain to you guys what i'm doing i just feel like right now i'm just so I'll explain that to you guys a little bit later on in the video. Okay guys, so we are finally at the top. I wanna zoom in. I wanted to show you guys how I do my ombre a little bit. So I know I was doing a little, a little bit of other stuff, but I only got 14 minutes left on this car and I don't feel like switching the other one out. So I am going to go in with my edge control for my roots. I think I said this before, but it is literally the next day and I had to go to sleep. And then I am gonna comb that through. Then I want to start my braid. Don't pay attention to my nails. They are being done tomorrow. So I wanna start my braid and then I go in. My first add-on hair is gonna be so tiny and so small because I want for it to look you know, I want I don't want for it to be that big thick knot at the root then i braid that in then i start to go a little thicker but not as thick as not as thick as the last one i'm gonna put in then i'm gonna just hook that on too i really hope that you can see what i'm doing and then i braid it just a little bit just to have it in and then the last one will be a little bit thicker but not too thick so i don't want to go too crazy thick and i'm only using three because this hair is so long i don't have to add any thing else so i like to braid it really tight right here before i let it loose and switch over my hand who child all this hair and then i'll get my lex jam then i get enough to make sure i get 
uh, that I get enough to put on all of the three separated parts. That way the hair is smooth while I'm braiding it in where it makes it easier for me to braid the hair and blend the hair most importantly. Then I just want to comb it just to get some of that, that kink out. That's all just to make sure it's smooth and even. Right where my hair is, I don't know if you can see it, but right where that hair is, I want to add a little bit more Let's Jam so that way it's easier to blend in. And then you take your time and really braid it slower to make sure you get everything. And once I braid past it, that's when I will turn the braid over and braid it where I'm comfortable with braiding. Then I want to get the rest of the hair to see where the ombre started. Now I did this out a little bit different. Wait, did I? No, they're about the same. Yeah, the ombre started about the same. So now I'm trying to get like a little, like a smoother ombre where there's no line of demarcation where you can just see where the ombre start. I'm trying to get it like a little flow. So then that's when I'm gonna start to add in my colored hair. And this is how small they are, but I'm gonna take a smaller piece, or piece than this. Like, it's gonna be that tiny. Now, you don't have to do it like this. This is just what I do, because I like to feed it in and get it to be like a, a lighter to a darker ombre. So that lump ain't there. And then I add the other piece. And then I just keep adding small pieces, but you want to be really careful when you add it on in this er so early on in the braid because it can get really, really thick. And that happened to me before. It was so thick. It was too thick and I couldn't barely put all the hair into the ponytail. And I did every braid like that and it, my hair was just so thick and it was so heavy. So as you can see, I'm going to just keep feeding some on adding some shine jam and feeding it to make sure it's nice and smooth as I feed it in. And I have gotten better with the feed in because before girl Bob, you will see the little lump bumps in where I fed it in. But I would say taking smaller chunks of hair or smaller pieces of hair is easier to blend in than bigger chunks of hair. So yeah, I don't know if you can really see the ombre, but this is how it started. You see it a little bit. See how it goes. And I just keep adding it. I'm over here sliding on here. So I just keep adding it. Adding my less jam also. That's going to be your lifesaver. As I'm getting lower and as you can see the black hair is starting to run out. Because now it's time to start adding the other hair. The colored hair. And you want to wait until the thickness starts to slim down. You don't want to add it while it's still thick. You're not going to run out of hair because you still have hair to catch. And plus I still have length to catch up with let me show you as you can see i still have length to catch up with so we're just gonna keep braiding slightly get the shears and trim it up some but you don't need to do a lot of this let me go put the water on and then we're gonna go downstairs and put this water in I'll be right back
I styled hair care and this is like, this is her mousse. What is this? No, this is her styling foam. I'm just gonna put this up here. with my flawless, with some looseness, it's by Tresemme. Even though it says it's for curls, I just like the way it holds, and this thing holds your hair. And I just wanna put this throughout my braids, just to hold it. Then I definitely wanna focus on the ends, to keep the ends nice and held together. because I did it too thick here. I was just adding way too much hair from the roots all the way down to the tip. So I had like so many packs of hair on my head. But now it's like, ooh, I can even do a bun. But I'm gonna wait until it's dry because it's heavy right now. So I wait until it's dry to play around with it. But this is it guys. Thank you so much for coming to my channel. Please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. If this is your first time here, thank you so much for supporting me. I appreciate you guys so much. I pray for peace, love, grace, mercy, prosperity over yourself, over your life, and those around you too. So please don't forget to subscribe. Please don't forget to comment. Give your girl some thumbs up. And guys, see you in my next video.